Hi, welcome to the awesome.net Maui videos playlist. In this kind of videos, we are going to review one community library or plugin that includes new functionality or includes new possibilities to .NET Maui. So let's go. During the past few years, I have been maintaining this repository called Awesome Shaman Forms, where I group by different categories different libraries that include new possibilities or new uh, options to develop with Xamarin Forms. So, for example, in the animation sections, we can include and see libraries like Lottie Xamarin, very useful and famous library to use Lottie animations in Xamarin Forms projects, or some animation that is a personal library that uh, include new APIs to be able to create uh, animations directly in Shaml code. Based on this kind of repository, I have created another repository called, yeah, I know, it's very original, awesome.net Maui. It's again a list based on different libraries, organized in different sections, samples, workshops, tools, place for UI, plugins, etc where I include a link to different libraries with the number of stars and a basic description of the functionality uh, from the library. I have been reviewing and searching new libraries frequently and including new options week by week. And now I am thinking that it could be a great idea to create a video content just reviewing one of these libraries by video where we are going to try to reach two main goals. One of them is uh, promote one library, promote the awesome work from a community member, creating an open source project and sharing with the rest of the community. And also, of course, trying to let you know new possibilities, new libraries to create better and better applications for mobile and desktop. For this video, I am going to talk to you about Simple Toolkit. It's a .NET MAUI library with helpers and very customizable controls available on Nugget with the package simpletoolkit.core and created by Radic from the Czech Republic. Let's start talking about the possibilities of this library. So, include different controls. For example, the icon control is a really interesting control that allows you to use different kind of source, a file, a URI, a font, etc. to create use icons, include basic properties to manage, uh, you know, the aspect, uh, if the image is loading, etc. I think it's pretty common to create icons in the application and it's a, it's a nice implementation. Then we have a really interesting control. It's a simple one, but uh, it's, uh, I guess, really repeated in the development of uh, Shamanin Forms and now with .NET Maui, and it's a content control. Or we can say like a button that can include any kind of content. It's based on a content view, including some interesting, you know, uh, touch events to manage when the button is clicked, pressed, or released and includes a content property that uh, allow you to include anything inside. Then we have the popover controls allowing to create uh, flyouts. It's interesting because you can attach this popover to any kind of control and we can create pop-ups in, in this way. There are some basic methods like show and hide show and hide to show and hide the popover and the content of the popover is defined by the content property that expects a view so it can, can be anything we can see all these controls in action in the gallery the sample included with the library so this is the sample these are the icon control this is the button control now we have here the popover control and the rest of the controls are based on navigations. And for me, it's one of the keys of the library because it includes another control called Simple Shell. Shell, it's 
an option that existed before in Shaman Forms and now exists in Donlet Maui, allowing to easily create the hierarchy and the navigation of the different parts of the application. All the stuff that is rendered by Shell is native controls. You are rendering all that tabs, flyouts, etc. with native views. And in some case, maybe you need some parts to customize deeply what exactly you want. Simple Shell is use a container that allows you to put any kind of content, but with the ability to reuse the Shell UD based navigation to manage the navigation of your application. So you can still continue using Shell to define the hierarchy and the navigation of your application. But if you don't like, for example, the native tabs and you really want to create something more custom, you can use use simple shell to create something like these tabs where it's using Maui graphics to render some part of this UI and the rest of the content, all this page, ribbon page, folder page, etc. It's continue using the shell UD base navigation. This is a really interesting idea. It's uh, giving you all the access to the different properties to get what's the status of the navigation, like what's the, you know, the current shell content, what's the current page, etc. And we are going to see this working in different samples. Let's start taking a look to the code. First of all, of the basic controls like icons, buttons, etc. And then let's jump to see the simple cell option. Okay, so we move it to Visual Studio and open it the Simple Toolkit project. Let's start taking a look to the basic controls. The icon control is use an image where we have some handlers, where for example on Windows, we are using in this case a bitmap icon to render the, the content. The same is happening with the rest of the platforms. And the content button, it's a little bit more interesting. It's the content view. It's a content view uses post in different events. Click it, press it, release it. And again, in every platform, we are used using a handler where in the connect event, we are adding handlers to manage all these events, ready with the pointer, pointer press it, release it, etc., to get access then to the virtual view and expose that to the abstraction. It's really interesting, you see, uh, but uh, a really good idea. And finally, we have the popover control with a couple of properties, the content property that defines the content of the popover and the attached popover property that is uh, expecting the view where we are going to attach the popover. It's interesting because here we are going to propagate the pending context, etc. And then, like with the previous controls, we have a view handler that it's uh, just managing, this handler is managing the different properties, the content, and when the popover is show high, etc. Now, let's pass to see the other kind of control that is related with the navigation where we can create really fantastic good looking UIs just replacing the native implementation from shell, maintaining all the hierarchy and all the navigations and functionality from it, but just replacing the UI with a container where we put our own content. Let's pass to this nav bar sample where we have the application shell we use the simple shell with the content property where we put the simple navigation host and the tab bar view. We can see inside the views folder a couple of controls. The tab bar icon view is used a path that renders the path show by every tab bar icon. And the tab bar view, it's a composition between a graphics view, that is a new kind of view included in .NET MAUI that allow you to use MAUI graphics 
to render in a canvas with native APIs in every platform. In every platform. And then we have a layout with uh, all the different buttons that we can use for every tab. So the interesting thing is happening here in the copy behind where it's using uh, .NET MAUI animations API to manage when the button is tapped to do these beautiful animations. But also we can see that in the background we have this shape in the selected one and for that, it's using graphics view with the uh, Maui graphics API. So we have here a hydro board that is where we use the draw method and it's creating here the path just receiving where is the position of the circle, of the selected item to create the path that is used for the background. It's a really interesting idea because for the rest, if we navigate to shell, we can see that uh, it's including here all the tabs, the five tabs. It's exactly the same API with the, you know, the tab API, shell content, etc. And it is still continue using the shell during navigation to navigate to the different page. I talked in the past with Shane, my teammate in the Donet Maui team, about something like that was more mixing the tab view idea from the community toolkit with Shell, but the final idea, the final approach was use include a way to inject any data template or content directly with a view to customize the UI as uh, you wanted. It's really interesting. I like the implementation. Uh, probably we can use optimize this use using a single graphics view and rendering everything use using uh, the native drawing APIs and simplifying a little bit the hierarchy. But this is looking really, really well. And also, Radek included another sample just using the same kind of controls called Gadget Store that I have here running on the Android emulator where the flyout is a game, a custom view where he's injecting all the content that he wants, just customizing, you know, the animations, you customizing the UI, but reusing all the shell items to get all the information and also to manage the navigation between the different parts and the different sections. If we go to the code, we can see that again, he's using uh, shell content to define all the items from the list, from the flyout, but using the simple shell content to create their list using a bin double layout. This, this list that we have here with the match, that is this, and the label, that is this text. But all this is binded on profile balance to all the shell content items defined here. So it's a really original way to do this also in the copy behind uh, managing the different states and the different animations to manage uh, this menu animation. But it's really a nice idea. I love it and it's simple and continue allowing you to reuse all the shell powerful, all the possibilities from shell, but just replacing the default UI, but uh, for whatever you want. So really nice idea. Remember, in today, awesome.net Maui community libraries video, we review it simple toolkit available on Nugget with the simple toolkit.core package created by Radex. If you have reached the end of the video, I really hope that you enjoy the content. Remember, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss new content. And also you can use the comment of the video to leave your feedback. See you soon.